Fannie's attorneys tried to prevent Fannie from being called as a witness. When out of nowhere, Fannie rumbles into the courtroom in hot pink and demands to take the stand. And then suddenly, he's changing. She files her financial declarations. Did you meet with Mr. Wade and talk to him about the motion that I filed to disqualify you? On January, this first January motion? Yes. I don't know if you could say talked about. Um, I probably had some choice words about some of the things that you said that were dishonest within this motion. So I don't know that it was a conversation. As you know, Mr. Wade is a Southern gentleman. Me, not so much. <laughs> For the next two hours, Fanny was a hot mess. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, we got more news from Big Booty Fanny and Mr. Wade. <laughs> Nathan Wade is a hot mess. He is, well, he is a lawyer. And you know how lawyers have got their dubious lies and they like to twist things around. You try to put them in the corner. He's, he's a little, he's a little oily with it. Let's take a look. Well, I'm very much want to be here, so I'm not a hostile witness. I very much want to be here. Not so much that you're hostile, Miss Willis. It'd be an adverse witness. Your interests are opposed to Miss Merchants. Ooh, damn, Fanny. Damn, calm down. Calm down. You a little hostile. Jesus Christ. I didn't even get to your part yet, but then you already all... Her, her. God damn, Fanny. But I'm going to show you some clips, and looks like Mr. Wade is going to prison too. So now here's the, here's the bet. Here's the ongoing bet. Who's going to go to jail first? All right? Who's going to go to jail first? Who do you think? You think it's going to be Fanny or you think it's going to be Mr. Wade? Because they're both, they both are liars. They both lied under oath with sworn testimony. And you know what? Let's have some legalese explain it some more. I think it was spot on. Fanny's toast. <laughs> I couldn't even say it any better than that. Fanny is toast. Your ass is on fire. Liar, liar. Pants on fire, Fanny. Caught you. Caught you red-handed. It's, it's so legalistic centric and yet so important and fascinating. Right. Don't let the legalese fool you. This is epic. This is monumental. If things are going in the direction we think, uh, Fonnie Willis lied to the court, it's game over for her. She will be disqualified. Um, if they had a relationship prior to when they, uh, represented to, to the court, it's, it's a huge deal. I, I can't overstate it. Now, you know it's bad when MSNBC, even MSNBC, said game over. Damn, Fanny, game over. It does matter when the relationship began. If it began before Nathan Wade was hired, that's a problem. And then it's also a problem if they lied. And if they lied, both of them have submitted uh, information under oath then there's no question. I would agree with you. They would be pulled off the case. Now, does this really matter, guys? Who cares, right? Let's hear some more legalese. That not only will Fanny get disqualified and Nathan Wade get disqualified by this Fulton County judge, I actually think the case has to be dismissed and then a new prosecutor can decide whether uh, he or she wants to refile this case because this case has been... Uh, unethically tainted, illegally tainted since before its inception. The best case scenario for Fanny is she get disqualified from the case. That's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is prison. She could have had this relationship 
going back to 2020. And if that's the case, both Fannie and Nathan Wade are going to face perjury allegations and maybe even prison time. They should go to prison if they like, because they made misrepresentations to the court in response to Mike Roman's uh, motion to dismiss. Before Fannie took this case, there was no other prosecutor that wanted this case. The case against Donald Trump was so bad. It has such little uh, evidence that nobody else wanted it, you know, but they talk her up. They talk Fannie Willis into doing it. You know, again, she's an AKA Alpha Kappa Alpha, and she thought she could do it. And she got a big fish, but she's a mental midget. You had both Nathan Wade file an affidavit, a sworn affidavit, and then Fannie Willis uh, relied on that affidavit in her court filing in, in opposition to Mike Roman's motion to dismiss. So uh, if, if they lied about that, they should they should be disqualified. They should be disbarred. They should be charged with perjury. They should be put in prison. And let me just... So based on their lies, they have a lot of case history. So now they got to unravel all that case history because of what they just did. That's why they don't want you lying under oath, especially lawyers. You know you're an officer of the court. You know you ain't supposed to do that. But they tried it anyway. Free from this financial conflict of interest that Fannie Willis is making money off of this prosecution of President Trump and 18 co-defendants based upon a bogus novel RICO conspiracy theory against political opponents, a new prosecutor is going to have to come in and have independent judgment whether they're going to bring uh, re, uh, re recharge President Trump and these 18 co-defendants. And they should be sent to prison, plain and simple, right? Now, let's watch Nathan Wade squirm out of this question here. Go. Isn't that correct? Yes. And so your answer to this interrogatory is false, is it not, sir? No, it's not false. Uh, well, hate to dance around the... You know, you, 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 the answer is yes, you did entertain Miss Willis, correct? Right? Yes. She's not, she's not uh, your spouse at that time or at any time, correct? That's correct. She's not related to you by blood or marriage, correct? That's correct. But she entertained her, right? Yes. And during the course from your marriage, the period of time up to the press, so the answer would have been, yes, I did entertain somebody, correct? During the course of the marriage, no. Nathan Wade is trying to say that he wasn't married to her. They had splitting up, but you got caught in the lie and you're in the web and it's looking bad, sir. Looking very bad. Thank you. Merchants entrance are, are contrary, contrary to democracy, Your Honor, not to mine. All right. He can order that it be withdrawn from the DA's office and shifted mm -hmm. elsewhere. If that happens, Ainsley, I think new prosecutors will look at this and they'll say, wait a minute. This evidence doesn't constitute racketeering, and they may decide this whole case is legally unsound, which I think it is. And they may also say, what's going on here? Wade travels to Washington for two eight-hour meetings at the White House? Was this prosecution of Donald mm -hmm. Trump coordinated with and driven by his election opponent, Joe Biden? Bingo. Bingo. There he goes right there. Nathan Wade had two separate meetings with the White House, two eight-hour meetings with the White House. What the hell y'all talking about, Biden? What y'all talking about? How to get Trump. How to get your political enemy. But it backfired, sir. He obtained information about the relationship between them directly from Wade when Wade was not seeking legal advice from Bradley. He obtained this information in a personal capacity as Wade's friend prior to Wade's decision to file for divorce. While Bradley would later represent Wade for a time in the divorce proceeding, the information about the relationship was obtained prior to the attorney-client relationship. Nathan Wade has a lawyer, which is really his friend. But before he hired him as a lawyer for this case, he had told him that he was in a relationship with Big Booty Fanny. So now he had to disclose that to the, to the courts. He couldn't lie about that too because he would have been in trouble also. So he had to come out and throw them under the bus too. His own lawyer, his buddy, his friend, and there you go. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you guys. I love it. 
If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get off my lawn.